So all I do over here is click on Customize. Okay, it's going to open up my card over here. You're going to see, first of all, a bunch of different areas. You're going to see the pass itself. Uh, you're going to see the color options, the logo, the strip image, and then some of the other sections here. So uh, first, what I'm going to do is add a logo. You're simply going to click on the Juice Crafters logo. Um, it's perfect. Look at that. I don't even have to crop it. I'm going to click on Don't Crop. Okay, it's going to pop that right in the top. Now, as well, looking at Juice Crafters, they have a white background, so I'm also going to choose to have my own white background over here. I simply choose the color picker. I make it white. The label in a yellow, yellowish color over here, kind of copy their style, a bit more orangey. You can color match if you want that exactly. Okay, so that looks all great. And now when it comes to the strip image, so that's really all I do from a branding standpoint. That's all that's really expected on this. You want to keep it simple, keep it sweet. Okay, next thing you want to do is click on Strip. This will bring you to the Strip area. So you can choose to do 8, 10, or 12 punches. Okay, I believe on their card over here they have 12, so I'm going to choose 12 over here. Okay, then I can choose to do a background color or just leave it white. I personally like to leave it white. I mean, a background is cool, but leaving it white, as you'll see in a second, you can really make something really nice. Uh, when it comes to punched images, uh, what I like to do, again, is try to go to their site and take assets. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to be a graphic designer. You simply have to, have to take a good asset. And I, I personally think I've seen this graphic everywhere on their site. Vegetables plus press equals juice. So we're going to use this image. Okay, I'm going to simply go save image as right on my desktop. I'm going to save it right there. Okay, now I'm going to choose these elements as my punch and my unpunched image. Here's how we do that. You click on punched. Now we're going to use the same image, but we're going to use different parts of it. Okay, so punched means, let's say I went there. Punched means I went and I got my veggies. Okay, so I'm going to select the veggies and click on crop. You'll see in a second it's going to literally take the veggies and make them the punch. Now the unpunch, we try to take the reverse. In this case, it doesn't look great, so we will make an unpunched. We're going to take the exact same image, and we're going to use it in a different way. We're going to use this side of it. We're going to take the punch. So we're going to crop that, and here we're going to have a punch card where you have uh, every time you get a punch, you get the veggies. Any time you need, you need their press. Okay, so we're going to set that up. And as far as I'm concerned, this is now done. Okay, this punch card is done. I don't have to set up a location. I don't have to set up beacons. But what we will do is so that. So here's a preview of the pass right away. Okay, I have the front. I have the back. Um, right now, my pass is pretty much done.